As of February 27, 2022, The Simpsons has aired 718 episodes. The show began all the way back in 1989, and it is currently the longest-running sitcom in United States history. It is also the longest-running animated series. It seems likely that one day, The Simpsons will reach 1,000 episodes. Perhaps the show will keep going for hundreds of years. Who knows? What's clear is that The Simpsons has an uncanny ability to predict the future. Some say this is simply because there have been so many episodes. After all, a broken clock is right twice a day. Perhaps The Simpsons was bound to predict the future at least a few times during its impressive run. Others state that it is not a coincidence. Some even say that the creator on the show is a Freemason with inside information on the plans of the New World Order. We know for sure that the show is run by a number of highly skilled mathematicians who openly admit to hiding various equations and special numbers in their episodes. Conspiracy theorists often point out that The Simpsons is a clear example of something called predictive programming. This theory claims that the mainstream media intentionally shows us glimpses of the future in order to soften us up and make us more accepting of these changes when they occur. But is that what's really happening with The Simpsons? Let's examine seven episodes that predicted the future in the most shocking ways. We'll kick things off with a prediction that everyone's been talking about lately. In 1993, an episode entitled Marge in Chains aired during Season 4. During this episode, a pandemic known as the Osaka Flu appears in Springfield. This virus spreads into Springfield from Asia, brought to the town by a Japanese worker. After the COVID-19 pandemic appeared in the real world, people immediately realized that there were strong similarities between this pandemic and the fictional disease in Marge in Chains. But there's one more detail that makes this episode even more incredible. At one point, residents of Springfield break open a crate which they believe contains a cure for the Osaka flu. However, the crate actually contains a swarm of murder hornets, which wreak havoc on the town's people. Here's the thing. At around the same time COVID-19 appeared, Scientists in Washington also identified a strange swarm of Asian giant hornets flying through the state. Finally, when the Osaka flu is mentioned on Springfield's fictional news channel, an image of a reptile is shown. Reptilian entities have long been associated with the New World Order and certain elitist bloodlines. For example, long-standing legends state that the Merovingian dynasty is descended from a reptilian monster. When confronted with the fact that they had predicted COVID, the show's creators were quick to dismiss any conspiracy theories. But eventually, even longtime writer Bill Oakley stated, I guess we did predict the pandemic. In 2016, another prediction from The Simpsons came true. The election of Donald Trump as President of the United States. Most of us could have never predicted that this would ever happen. In fact, many people jokingly dismissed Trump's chances of actually getting elected early on in the election cycle. But the writers of The Simpsons called it all the way back in the year 2000. In this episode, the writers show us a version of the future in which Lisa has just been elected as the new president, right after Trump finishes his term. But it gets even crazier than that. Lisa is seen wearing an outfit that is almost identical to a purple suit worn by Kamala Harris, the current vice president. Some say that this prediction is slightly off, since Kamala didn't actually succeed Trump as president, Biden did. However, there are those who say that Kamala Harris is the one who's really running the show in the White House, so maybe the prediction wasn't too far away from the truth after all. On a more general note, the Simpsons has a knack for predicting new technology, and the writers seem to be particularly in tune with the future Apple products. For example, they once predicted the advent of smart watches, specifically showing us watches that could be used as phones. 
This prediction happened all the way back in 1995, during Season 6. The writers also seemed to have predicted virtual reality. During Season 9, we are shown Yard Work Simulator, which involves children strapped into VR devices and performing tasks in a virtual garden. In addition, the writers predicted computerized voting machines, specifically ones that malfunction questionably and seem to allow widespread voter fraud to occur. During Season 20, Homer tries to place a vote for Obama, but the computerized voting machine instead registers him as voting for McCain. During Season 6, the series also seems to predict the advent of autocorrect. All the way back in 1994, school bullies Kearney and Dolph use a Newton device to record a memo. However, the device incorrectly autocorrects them, an issue that many smartphone users would struggle with about a decade later. In Season 10, Homer meets with Stephen Hawking, telling the cosmologist he believes the universe is shaped like a donut. Now, The Simpsons didn't exactly predict this theory, as it has been around since the 1980s, and because many of the writers are skilled mathematicians, their knowledge of this theory perhaps isn't too far out of the ordinary. That being said, this theory has become increasingly popular since the airing of this episode. This raises an interesting point about The Simpsons. Are they actually predicting future events? Or are they influencing pop culture to such an extent that they subconsciously plant ideas in people's minds? In this case, it might have been a little bit of both. The Simpsons didn't just predict COVID. They also seem to have seen another major pandemic coming way before it arrived. We're talking, of course, about the Ebola outbreak. During one episode of the 90s, Marge tries to give a book entitled Curious George and the Ebola Virus to Bart. You have to remember that at this time, Ebola was an extremely rare disease, and most people probably didn't even know what the word actually meant back in the 90s. 17 years later, Ebola became the biggest buzzword of the mainstream media. From 2013 to 2016, the disease spread throughout Western Africa, causing widespread loss of life and later spreading to places like the United States, Spain, and the UK. Looking back, there was a lot of pop culture moments that seemed to reference 9-11 before it actually happened. There was the cover of Def Leppard's album, Pyromania. There was the episode of Johnny Bravo that aired just a few months prior to the attack. And of course, we can't forget about the strange Illuminati card game. Even The Simpsons got in on the action. Back in 1997, there was a brief moment in the episode The City of New York vs. Homer Simpson that showed a pamphlet that seemed to feature the words New York 9-11. Last but not least, we have a slightly less impressive prediction, but a puzzling one nonetheless. During an episode aired in 1996, viewers were treated to a glimpse of a futuristic London. Right in the corner of the screen, we see a building that many people think looks just like the Shard. For those who don't know, the Shard is one of the most futuristic looking buildings in London, and construction began in 2009, 14 years after this episode was initially aired. Just for reference, this is the same episode that predicted smartwatches and many other future events. So why does The Simpsons seem to be so prophetic? Is it simply because there are so many episodes? Is it all just a coincidence? Or is there something else going on here? For many people, one of the most memorable episodes of The Simpsons was Homer the Great, which aired back in 1995. In this episode, Homer is inducted into an ancient secret society called the Stonecutters. This is an obvious reference to the Freemasons. Mr. Burns is an obvious reference to Lord Jacob Rothschild, one of the most powerful people on the planet. Are these just random references? What if the show's creators are actually telling us, we are the Freemasons, we are the Rothschilds. We run this world and if you look closely, we'll show you what's coming next. 
The truth is that The Simpsons is filled with not just predictions of the future, but also many other references and hints about how the world really works. If you pay close attention, The Simpsons can be much more than a source of entertainment. It can provide you with all kinds of insight about who's running this planet and where the world is heading. Only one question remains. What will The Simpsons predict next?